Chris, we're going to have some guys on the market. We're going to have teams that need to fill the role. Which retread quarterback do you think will have the highest value? That's our first down. Well, I got to start with Tony Romo down in Dallas. He's got a big cap number in 2017. No way he's going to stay around in Dallas Cowboys as a backup quarterback. So I think he's got to find a place to land. And I think it's an organization like the Denver Broncos, a place that's familiar with having a veteran quarterback groom a younger quarterback. You saw what happened with Peyton Manning and Brock Osweiler during the Super Bowl year. Kerry Kubiak has a user-friendly offense, a lot, of, um, a lot of run game leading with that, uh, being able to supplement that with play-action passes, bootlegs, things that fit Tony Romo's skill set. Just, like him, just allow him to make the plays that, that are there in the passing game, not put too much on this quarterback right now, try to protect him. And of course, you got a championship defense. So I think that Denver yeah. would be a good place for him. What are we thinking? That's one-year deal, two-year deal? Yeah, I mean, well, if Paxton Lynch waiting in the wings, you'd think for almost probably one or two years, right? Yeah, it has to be a two-year deal just so they can spread the, uh, the prorated signing bonus out over the course of a couple of seasons. They don't want a huge cap hit for a one-year deal. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a couple of years, but it'll be a year-to-year -year type of situation for Tony Romo. I'm going to bring up a guy who, I don't know if he has the most value, but I see a perfect fit, and that's Jay Cutler. Assuming he comes back healthy next season, I could see Jay Cutler in New York with the Jets. Repair him with Brandon Marshall. They had a lot of success together. Remember, Marshall, 2012-2013 with Cutler, had 23 touchdowns those two years. So put them together. Clearly the Jets quarterback situation is kind of a mess. Bryce Petty doesn't look like he's the guy to step in. There's the reports about the Jets being on the North Carolina quarterback for next year, maybe drafting him. He's going to need some time to develop. So maybe Cutler in the same situation, not the quarterback of the future, guys, but for a year or two in New York, yeah, I can see it. All right, you bring up the Jets. Fitzpatrick, is it going to be another season and summer of Fitzpatrick when we figure <laughs> out where he's going to go? Probably not. I think Kirk Cousins is really going to dominate the conversation. I think Washington is going to have to pony up a lot to keep their quarterback or else he's going to have plenty of suitors in the National Football League.